My name is Claudio de Oliveira. I'm originally from Brazil. I um, have been working here at Pixar um, close to six years now. I would like to talk a little bit about um, my process here um, as an animator and how it was to work with um, work on Toy Story 4 and specifically with the character Forky. Uh, animation is the department where we receive the models, um, the characters, and we put try to put some life into them. Part of the acting on each character that is the influence from the voice actor, but also the animator on it. It gets to our hands, but then you do certain work and then all of a sudden you pass along to someone else to take care of it. So um, this is a, a usual thing around the studio. So Forky, when I first got assigned to work with him on the show, okay, is a spark, right? So how are we going to put emotions into this? Uh, first, we usually start with a toy on the world, but now we already know that toys can do that for us, but what about a utensil? So I felt like, okay, to help me out, let me go into a journey here. Let me try to build one myself at home and, and see if I can get any inspiration out of it, any answers out of it. If you just go to a market and ask for a spark, they, chances are they won't have it. The better chances would be if you go to a pizza joint, buy their pizza, of course, and then get their utensils. They usually have sparks there. So I was making a few of them to bring them to work and like give it to a few animators to have uh, Farky on their desk and like play along and try to understand a little bit more the physicality of the material uh, on the materials and the, the way. We have learned a few things that shouldn't be done or some materials that should not be used. Bringing them to work and like leaving them at, the, at the, our meeting room for everyone to to have one and play with. But then I got a really angry text message from my wife saying that she and her kids were really missing Farky at home. <laughs> Bringing them back to, uh, to work here, one of the things of, it would, that was great having one at, at our desk was we could play along and like try to find answers to what is the physicality of it, uh, what does ma the, the weight of the material does if I just set him down, can I use that for some movements? Can I use that for some um, accents on him? Going, looking back again into the, the challenge of the limitations of this character, one of the things that made me just feel good about that we would be able to go through and make it work was going back to listening to the recordings of the voice talent for the character. Because it, it, it informs you about a lot of things, it, it gives you some inspiration and hints on what can, can you use on the character to make it work. And for me, what, what really helped on Tony Hale's um, recording, there was sections that he was limited by um, a certain amount of words, and he was making it work anyways, even though he had that one word to work with. I had one more thing to do at that point. Um, I was already feeling very connected to the character, but um, by like having him, this one, it's one of my older, oldest um, Forkies. He has been through out the whole movie on my desk, so he's not necessarily looking the best these days, but um, he has a lot of history <laughs> behind. Um, but it was funny to me to, to see the connection that I was building. 